Hello and welcome to today's video. In this video I'll be discussing whether movie theatres are going out of fashion or are they coming back on the rise. The points I'll touch upon in this video are the rise of streaming services and the effects of Covid on movie theatres. Whilst also discussing current trends and then concluding the video with my own personal opinion on where I think movie theatres stand in this day and age. So starting off this video we'll be talking about YouTube. YouTube was arguably the first streaming platform to be launched back in 2005 by a group of friends that just wanted a way of sharing videos with each other. It was the original pioneer of on-demand video streaming and was bought out by Google in 2009. As of this video there is roughly enough material for around 60,000 feature films and you would need roughly 1700 years to watch everything on there. However YouTube was never a direct alternative to movie theatres and never really affected it. Box office numbers actually saw a rise from 2005 to 2009 reaching 10 billion dollars in revenue worldwide. Netflix was established in 1997 as a rival to Blockbuster. The company was heavily affected by the dot-com bubble back in the 2000s and was offered to be bought out by Blockbuster for around 50 million dollars. The offer was rejected. The company launched their streaming service in 2007 and put Blockbuster out of business who couldn't compete with the demand that Netflix had created. Netflix blew DVD rentals out of the water with its on-demand film and TV, launching now worldwide famous House of Cards and Orange is the New Black. This was an indication and a warning to movie theatres that there was now a demand for both film and TV from the comfort of someone's home. Since Netflix's launch, movie theatres' total box office numbers worldwide increased by over 17%, reaching an all-time high of $11.9 billion in 2018. In that time, however, Netflix's revenue grew by over 406%, reaching a figure of $15.7 billion meaning it only took 8 years from its launch to have higher revenue than movie theatres worldwide. Disney then launched their own streaming platform called Disney Plus in 2019, where they said they would release films on the platform but put big name films in theatres still. AMC, the world's largest movie theatre, posted an all-time high revenue of $2.5 billion in 2019. This was a sign of both streaming services and theatres coexisting together and making money. Covid hit the world in January 2020. By March the majority of cinemas worldwide had been shut down due to rules and or no demand for movie theatres. Films such as Top Gun Maverick, A Quiet Place 2 and James Bond No Time to Die were all set to be released in 2020, however were forced to be delayed. The highest grossing film of 2020 was an anime film called Demon Slayer, which earned $503 million worldwide. This was the first time a non-American film was the top grossing film of the year. It was also the first time since 2007 that the highest grossing film worldwide only earned less than a billion dollars. Worldwide box office revenue for 2020 fell to 1.9 billion, which was over three times smaller than what it was 20 years prior. People had to switch to entertainment services indoors due to Covid. Netflix gained 37 million subscribers in 2020 to reach a figure of 200 million subscribers in total. Disney Plus also hit 100 million subscribers whilst just being 16 months old. Netflix's revenue jumped nearly 25% from 2019 to 2020, reaching just under 25 billion with no signs of stopping. Total streaming service subscribers topped 1 billion by the end of 2020. To put that into perspective, if the total number of subscribers to streaming services all came together to create a country, it would be the third largest country in the world. It would be bigger than the United States and all of the European Union countries combined. During the closure of cinemas, Netflix also received more Oscar nominations than any film studio in the Oscars 2020 awards. Cinemas started to partially open across the world during 2021. In this time, box office revenues more than doubled to a figure of $4.5 billion, up from $1.9 billion in 2020. 2021 saw the release of films such as Godzilla vs Kong, Dune 
and Fast and Furious 9. Later in the year, we saw the release of James Bond No Time to Die and Spider-Man No Way Home. These two films combined made up over 60% of 2021's box office revenue. Spider-Man alone generated $1.9 billion in revenue worldwide, nearly the same amount as the total box office numbers for 2020. 2022 saw most COVID restrictions removed, with people eager to get back to normal. During this year, total box office numbers worldwide reached a figure of $7.4 billion. Director James Cameron brought Avatar back to the big screen for the first time in 12 years, with his sequel Avatar The Way of Water. The film generated over $2.2 billion worldwide. Avatar joined Top Gun Maverick and Jurassic Park Dominion to all reach over $1 billion in revenue each. This was the first time since 2019 that more than one film had reached the $1 billion figure. AMC and Disney struck a partnership where Disney Plus subscribers would get perks in AMC theatres and vice versa. This helped fill a gap as Disney films would be placed in AMC theatres at a time where big film studios were still building up their slates for the new year. Netflix generated $31.6 billion in revenue for the 2022, a 6.7% increase year on year. However, they saw a loss of 1.2 million subscribers in the year as well. The reasons for this can be put down to the fact that they withdrew their services from Russia due to the war, hiking of prices in North America, and also a decrease in the quality of content. As of the time of this video, 2023's worldwide box office figures are about 91% as much as they were for all of 2022. However, Cineworld, the second largest theatre company in the world, has filed for bankruptcy in the United States. Their subsidiary Regal Theatres has shut 39 different locations in America as the company struggles with nearly $5 billion in debt. AMC debt remains at about $5 billion. However, they have managed to keep afloat with a surge in support from retail investors. The number one theatre company in the world will be looking for more positive trends in the box office figures coming into the new year. So what do movie theatres have to look forward to? Well, trends are showing that more than 50% of viewers would rather watch a new film from home instead of going to their local cinema. However, it can be argued that movie theatres are not really competing with streaming services as seen before COVID, where both coexisted and made good amounts of money. Of course, we need to take into account that viewing trends will not be the same as they were before COVID as we don't yet know whether cinemas will ever recover to pre-pandemic levels. However, trends in box office revenue are looking good. We can see that so far in 2023 that the revenue is already bigger than 2020 and 2021 combined. Considering we're not even a third of the way through the year, this is a very positive sign for movie theatres going forward. Highly anticipated films for 2023 include Creed Free, Cocaine Bear, John Wick 4, and Super Mario Brothers, just to name a few. If existing cinema companies can recover from the lasting effects of COVID-19, we should see box office numbers start to rise and movie theatres make a comeback once again. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll see you in the next one.